All right. So it's about 12 o'clock. I can't believe how fast and slow this day is seeming to go. I feel like I've been, I've been awake since five, so maybe that's why. All right, I'm starving. <laughs> I've not eaten since 7 a.m. and it's now 12, and I had um, a pretty light workout, but just a lot of moving around this entire morning, so I'm starving and can't even make this video enough, fast enough. Um, I need to do a grocery haul so badly. Um, and I made a nice, beautiful list of everything that I need to get. I just don't have the time to get it all today. So that's going to be a problem. So I just faked it. And I got myself, so I got myself some eggs for the morning and I cheated, sort of. And I got myself already made nice grilled chicken and healthy tuna salad, which doesn't have mayo in it. And it has like carrots and celery and onions and some vinegar. And I never buy bananas, but I bought bananas because I will be needing to sweeten some things. Um, I'm sure I'll be craving them and I like to freeze them and have them with coconut oil. It's really good. Best waiting to eat snack ever. Yum. My bananas cold or frozen so these are going to go in the freezer cut up because it's easier to eat them afterwards and then the rest will go in the fridge all right meal two is super boring but it'll be super satisfying so I have about three to four ounces of grilled chicken whatever broccoli, 150 grams of sweet potato with about a quarter of a tablespoon of coconut oil. I know it's boring, but I'm just hungry, so I don't give that much of a crap. So I'm going to chalk this up to the fact that I woke up at 4.45 this morning. Um, and it's now 1.15, but I'm so tired. <laughs> I, to my own fault, I had a really busy morning and I got a ton done even before I left to train any clients at eight, but I was going, 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 and then I got home and I ate and I sat and I basically stopped moving and then everything just settled and got really tired. I really wish I could take a nap right now, but I am going to go watch the Real Madrid game versus Wurz, some German team. I'm going to look it up. Wolfsburg. But I'm going to go watch the Real Madrid versus Wolfsburg game this afternoon and so I cannot take a nap but I just entertained myself on snapchat for a few minutes and I swear to god the faces that you can contort your face into are so okay. I really want to take a nap right now but I can't because I have to leave why? <laughs> and this is just me laughing. All right, this is my grocery list for the week for the seven day sugar detox challenge. 
as you can see, everything on here is 100% whole and natural and grows from the earth. And if it does contain sugar, fruit, blueberries, oranges, bananas, um, it's low or it will be eaten in moderation because I am only hitting 40 grams of sugar for the day. Of all the sugary temptations. Yeah. Look at all your hiding spots. If you're trying to fool someone, you're only fooling yourself. So check the cabinets, check the drawers, check behind the couch, check under your pillow, check in your pillowcase, check in your sock drawer, and your bags, and your office drawers. I mean, obviously, if like there's candy in a bowl on someone's uh, desk at work that's not your own desk, um, maybe you should not touch them. Not, not touch theirs, but um, you can ask them. It really helps, especially in the first week when it's the hardest. Second thing is you have to go grocery shopping for the good foods. So I have an entire list of go foods that you can eat. It's a huge list, um, and you need to make sure you have those things in your house. Otherwise, the goal of this is not to be hungry. The goal is to get sugar out of your diet. So you need to eat. You just need to eat the good stuff. Okay. Write down what your goals are for the next seven days. My goals might not be exactly the same as yours, but I want you to write down what you are specifically committing to for the next seven days. When you write it down, it makes it real. When you tell someone else, it makes it realer. And I'm not talking about just telling yourself inside your head. Tell another other person. Um, so, for example, this is my goal. I invite you to word it in a similar way, meaning that it's clear, it's measurable, um, it's realistic for you, but it doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. But my goal for the next seven days is not to consume any products with added sugar or artificial sweeteners um, in food or drink. And I will track all my food in my fitness pal so that I eat no, oh shit, <laughs> I wrote no less than, I mean, I will eat no more than 40 grams of sugar every day. And that's what I'm sticking to. Today I'm already at 23 grams of sugar and I've only had two meals. So it's a challenge. It's a challenge. To comment, they want to notice I keep having like these whims to go and buy something that I would normally go buy because I'm just in the mood for it. Like, um, I really like the buy drinks. They're really flavored, really deliciously and they don't taste too artificially. I think they're flavored with stevia or something. But I tend to crave those and or like gum or um, even mints. Like right now I'm like, oh, I could go for a mint. But no, no, not today. Not today. <laughs> I'm freaking exhausted. I've been up since 4.45 this morning and just kept going all day. So I'm home now. It's 8.45. I could literally go to bed right now. I just ate my last meal. It was probably bigger than I would have wanted it to be. I was really hungry when I left work. I should have eaten a bigger meal with more protein this afternoon around 4.00. And I didn't because I wasn't hungry for it and I paid the price, I paid the price. But tonight I had a bunch of um, healthy tuna salad, which is basically tuna with olives and celery and chopped up carrots and some kind of vinegar. And then I had some baby carrots and then I had almonds, but I definitely ate way too many almonds. Um, what are you going to do? But I feel satisfied now. I feel like I need to take a shower. Um, so there's that. And I also realize that I am so productive in the morning. Like, optimally from 6 a.m. to probably like 11 a.m. is like the time where I get shit done. 
but on my days where I have mornings to myself, I need to take advantage of that 6 to 11 a.m. time. Anyway, so thank you. So, all right, tomorrow is another day. Day one of the sugar detox challenge is complete. No sugar was had outside of some sugar in a banana. That's natural. The sugar that occurs in the sweet potato and I had a green apple. It was literally, oh, maybe the baby carrots. That was pretty much the entire day's worth of sugar. So I did not go over. Actually, I just tracked it. I'm at 40 grams. Do I sign my teeth? One day down, six days to go. All right, guys. See you in the morning. Bye.